we'll go ahead and make a start. Um, today we have two short presentations, 15 minutes each. We'll have Q&A after. Uh, the first one is AI Foundation Models in Generating Programming Assessment Specifications and Model Answers by Amal uh, Ali Jelly, Eric Atwell, and Amar, I can't see that, Al -Salka. Salka. Al Salka. So go ahead. Okay, good evening. My name is Amal Al Jelly. Uh, I am a PhD student in Leeds University. I have done my master's degree from the City University of New York in the US. Uh, recently, I have joined School of Computing Artificial Intelligence Lab. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my research. Uh, what I am going to do, uh, I represent, I briefly, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what I am going to do first, I will present my, briefly my research. Uh, then I will go through an initial experiment I have conducted. Uh, afterwards, I will spend a few minutes uh, sharing some thoughts and consideration. I will spend a few minutes sharing some thoughts and consideration, and by the end, I will be more than happy to receive your feedback, to listen to your feedback and answer your question. So my abstract, which has been accepted in the ALT conference, it's entitled AI Foundation Models to Generate Programming Assessment Specification and Model Answer. So what is foundation model? In August 2021, uh, this term has been uh, announced by the Stanford, uh, the Stanford Research Center for Human Artificial Intelligence Research, uh, referring to why artificial intelligence model that can be adapted in a huge data set, which can, uh, that can be trained in a huge data set and can be adapted to wide range of downstream tasks. For example, deep learning neural network transformer models such as ChatGPT and BERT. And we has, has, we, as we have seen that the transformer models has outstanding performance on understanding natural language. And uh, however, they do have some limitation on transformer models. Uh, they do have some limitation on generating code. So we propose a foundation model approach to speed up the time consuming for instructor to sitting and grading programming assessment in large courses. Um, there are many research has been conducted on auto grading system. However, they do have some limitations. One of the primary, uh, one of these limitations that uh, this auto grading system is primarily dependent on the nature of exercise. The other limitation as for example, if there is an instructor is familiar with Python programming language, he is giving, uh, for example, courses for programming language, it will be quite difficult for them to use the auto grading for C programming language, for example. Uh, because the instructor need to follow some technical, they, they need to have some tech, uh, programming technical skills to use the auto grading system. Also, one of the other limitations for the listened auto grading system uh, instructors spend lots of time to feed the auto grading to uh, the auto grader tool with the correct with the correct programming implementation. So the auto grader tool can compare between the student as sub some submission and the key answer. So we propose the foundation model approach to reduce the workload for instructor and. By saying we would like to reduce the workload for instructor, we doesn't necessarily mean that we would like to eliminate this kind of job. Because as we have seen, there has been a debate that this kind of a new artificial intelligence or uh, generative AI has the potential to cut off the jobs. And in fact, it's true The the last August, there has been a report that has been announced by McKinsey that by 2030, uh, generative AI has the potential to reduce around 30% of hours of the workload. And by the way, McKinsey is one of the most prestigious uh, consulting management firm around the world. They have more uh, offices in more than 65 countries. So since the, thank you. Since the large language model has showing remarkable performance on understanding natural language, 
and they have the potential to reduce the workload. So is it possible for large language model to reduce the instructor workload? So this is the, uh, this is a question that my, is, my, my thesis seeks to answer. So I have done an initial experiment, a very initial experiment. And at the beginning for any instructor to mark student work, either it is programming or not a programming course, they will compare the student answer with the key answer. So first thing come to my mind, so how can I let the, the, the machine or the large language model compare between the key answer and student submission? And I need to find out some calculation to result the, the student score. First thing I did, I have done a synthetic data by generated fake answers. I have assumed that I do have four students and I do have four questions. I just write down the exercise on the chat GBT. As it is in the exam, the prompt was in natural language and suppose give me the, the output is in programming language. As we can see on the right side hand, there is uh, generated answer by chat GBT and on the left side is the human answer. And there are some similarities the similarities between the two answers. However, the generated AI, it doesn't generate any comments. From programming language point of view, it doesn't make, it doesn't necessarily, if it has, I mean, it doesn't affect the correct of the code if it does have a connect, a comment or no, because comments are not executable and the machine basically are just ignoring them. I have done some static analysis for the, 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 the answers. Here, for example, we do have the question. I do have only four questions. Here are the key answers by human. And here are the four answers are generated by the chat GPT. There is something really make me, I have to take it into consideration during my study because generative AI or transformer model, when I try to generate answers, the first thing it gave me for, for example, here, it gave me around 250 words, okay, for one, for the same answer. However, when I try to change, to, to generate another answer, it gave me only around 20, 20 words. And it's obvious that an answer 20, 50 words is not equal as an answer. It's, there is something wrong here with the two generated answers. So this is one of the things I have to take into consideration for the generating various range of words in generating answers. I have used SPERT. SPERT is a modification of BERT transformer. And I try to find cosine similarities between the two documents. The two, the, the two documents, the fake answers by generative AI and the key answers by human. What I have noticed that expert process the document as pure, pure uh, English, as natural language. It doesn't consider any syntax or any syntax of, of the code. Also, it shows that comment has a major effect on student work. Because what I have done, I run the process for, I generated, uh, I compare two documents, one, one, uh, one document, which include instructor answer, and the other, I just omit the instructor answer to see how far these few sentences can affect the similarities, which I will, which the large language, which the transformer will produce. For example, here, for question number three, large language model provide me 85% when it's compared the comment, okay? From educational point of view, comments in source code gives an instructor a knowledge of how student can understand this piece of code. But from programming language of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of buoyant, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily affect the cause. It, does, it isn't executable. However, transformer, perform these documents 
when I tried the same question with the same data, with ignoring the comment, it gives a student a score 74, which means C. So the, the transformer consider the comment has a major effect on a student's score by the end of, of the course. Because 74 comments, even if, it, if, the, if the comments affect the student's scores, this few of sent, sentence doesn't consider a major factor. Another thought that for the same process, for the same data, the transformer expert, it doesn't affect the, the comment doesn't affect the student work. For example, here it gave me 85, the another for the ignoring it, it gave me 87. So student have the same score. So it does, so I think the uh, large language model, it does have the potential to detect errors in student, uh, in student work. However, I have to take into consideration that I have to use a programming language, uh, a bimodal, a bimodal transformer, which is called to take which the input is uh, natural language and the output code. So the machine can detect and understand syntax and semantics of the programming language, such as code T5. Also, I had to find a middle approach between the uh, middle approach between student submission and key answer so the large language model can follow. Thank you for listening. And I'm, I'm happy to receive your feedback and listen to your question. And by the way, also this uh, photo is generated by Midjourney and they have the prompt on the slide. I'm happy to receive you. Thank you. We have some time, so if you want to ask questions now, you may. Yes. So I'm not sure if you saw it yesterday, but it was one of the talks, I think when we did it, where we talked about like university strategies to deal with generative AI, and there was like a matrix of um, short, medium, long term issues of like how you can deal with it with students and like the amending assessment. Just wonder if we've like put any instructions in the kind of like coding for like how how well it performs. One of the things that uh, the guy who was talking about is um, was talking about was there's been such a like rapid development where when people were turning into assessment, so it's like right as a student, let put like a prompt in, you get an essay out, and we're going to almost critique it. And when she originally did it, it was terrible, and there was like lots of things for students to pick up on. But when she did it just before she was teaching, it was like a pristine, almost perfect essay. So it completely changed like how well it did months ago to how well it would do now, as if the kind of technology evolves in that. So I'm just wondering, if it really long like tangent um, as a prompt here to them, how do you think it will like evolve with this kind of problem where it didn't perform as well as you was expecting? How do you think as the sort of technology rapidly advances? but it will kind of like change like what you found here? I think you are right because uh, the generative AI, it depends on the, the data it has, been, it has been trained on. So I think this is something I really need to consider that the advanced rapid uh, advancement in the artificial intelligence. But I think so far for, the, for my research, I wouldn't be that far to change the the output. I mean, or the result, because uh, transformer models such as ChatGPT or whatever they do have some huge data and huge computer and that they run on it. Yeah, I was just curious. I just thought it like shit. Is it like more, All right. more advanced? So thank you. All right. Thank you.